Did you know that your guts, your enteric system, has anywhere from 200 to 500 million neurons? That's like having a cat's brain in your stomach. It's the very first system to develop in the embryo. Sea cucumbers are technically a living being, but all they are is an enteric system. It's just a big belly. 85% of the body's serotonin and dopamine come from, you guessed it, the belly, and 70% of your immune system is all about the guts. So you can see that the gut is much more than just a garbage disposal. Hey friends, I'm Andrew Carruthers from The Journeyist, MBIT coach and MBIT coach trainer, and today we are answering the question, what the hell is an enteric brain? So let's clarify one piece of this, because very often through the embraining community, we call it the gut brain. But the enteric brain is much more than just the gut, because it goes all the way from the intake to the outlet. So those 200 to 500 million neurons are actually spread throughout the entire enteric system. So the big question might be, why is this even important to me? And we feel like the reason it's important is if you understand what comes from that gut brain, then you can learn how to harness it and how to use it for higher wisdom. The best thing is, is you innately know probably most of what this thing does for you because you've experienced it. And we say things, there's linguistics that happen that really tell us exactly what the gut brain is for. Think about all the things you say throughout the day that reference what we get from that gut system. So you probably say things like, I have a gut instinct about this. No guts, no glory. It's a hard thing to swallow. Take time to digest this. My stomach's in knots. Oh, I feel the butterflies. And exactly what you're doing when you're saying these certain things is you're pointing to to what we call are the prime functions of the enteric system or the enteric brain. And we see that some of the most important prime functions of the gut brain are core identity, self-preservation, mobilization, and it tends to decide what is me and what is not me. And the highest expression of the gut brain is truly courage. If you watch the last video, which is what the hell is the autonomic nervous system, you'll remember that we talked about the fact that these prime functions or these highest expressions of the different brains really only happen if we are autonomically in coherence. For example, one of the prime functions is motivation. And if we're too parasympathetic, that prime function could really become apathy. And if you were too highly sympathetic, that could really become a sense of anxiousness. So to make sure that we're getting the most from our gut or our enteric system, we want to try to keep ourselves into a nice coherent state for the most part, and we want to take care of this system. Things like actual physical injury or just bad gut health from diet or too much medication, things like that can really interrupt the ability for that enteric brain to function at its highest place. So you can see taking care of the enteric system, taking care of your gut health is so much more than just digestion. It really has to do with how those prime functions are working for you throughout your entire day. So please take care of your belly, show your guts some love, so that way it can support you in the best way possible. So if you have more questions about what the hell is the enteric brain, or you had an aha moment today, or you'd just like to share how you are using the intelligence of the gut brain, type it into the chat. We'd love to get a conversation going with you. And of course, if you'd like to tap in deeper into the intelligences, you can always get in contact with me through social media. Just look up Andrew Carruthers on any platform, or you can head to my website, which is www dot the journeyest life dot com and we'll be back next week with more on your beautiful multiple brain system.